Oh man. I was shipping something today at FedEx and the guy says, How goes it? I said, I'm busier than a hooker on coupon day. He laughed so hard, his manager actually came over. I thought I was going to get the guy fired. He was laughing so hard. Um, I guess I must be crazy because I just got this in the other day and I don't even know why I bought it. This. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta do the official uh, sniff test uh, like the other guy does. <laughs> yeah, you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> um, oh my god. I bought another Nikon D3. What's wrong with me? Well, actually at the time I was thinking. Um, it's only got uh, 45,000 shutter clicks on it and it's got the box and all the paperwork and everything and uh, a bit of the rubber was uh, loose at the bottom but other than that I mean uh, it's ridiculous by the way you will never find another camera another DSLR it doesn't matter if it's Canon or Nikon or Pentax that uh, across the board it's like if you try to find one that has less than 300,000 shutter clicks, I mean, that's like rare. It, it's absolutely absurd um, that the Nikon D3 is so utterly impossible to find where it just has not been ridden right into the dirt. Of course, it still works perfectly fine, but everybody that owns a Nikon, yeah, well, professionals shoot a lot more, obviously. I mean, that's the no-duh no duh statement of course but nevertheless aside from that there are a lot of professional cameras out there like the Nikon D4 D4S um, and um, uh, Nikon D810 D810 hasn't been out there that long but nevertheless even when you find real hardcore ones nothing it, it amazes me that the D3 is just absolutely a lot of you comment is like I've been trying to find a Nikon D3 but They've all got like a, a billion shutter clicks on them, <laughs> and that is the case. They just do just keep rocking out um, really hard. Unfortunately, of course, the batteries for them are very... They are still made new. Um, they are $100, $95. You can get the ProMaster batteries for the Nikon D3. Um, but they are still made new. Uh, the date stamp uh, on this one, uh, on this Nikon... They're, they're very heavy, by the way. Uh, this one is was made nine months ago in Japan. They're expensive little batteries. The genuine ones are anyway. Uh, incredibly, incredibly heavy camera. One of the last Nikons to be made in Japan, along with the Nikon D700, of course. Even though it has the exact uh, sensor in it. People say there's a Sony sensor in here. There's not. It's uh, actually a Panasonic sensor, but technically it's a Matsushita, which is Panasonic. Matsushita is Panasonic. They stopped calling them Matsushita, I forget how many years ago, but uh, anyway, I feel so guilty, and yet at the same time, it was so insanely cheap, I thought, I gotta buy this thing. <laughs> I thought, I've gotta buy this Nikon D3. I'll probably end up selling it. No, I'm not trying to advertise anything to anybody out there, but... Um, I could fill up this entire table with the amount of Nikon DSLRs I got, and that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, even if I was shooting in the studio every day, which I'm sure as hell not, everybody else, everybody else out there knows it, um, I've been shooting a whole lot more lately than I have been last year because I've just been so busy, but that's absolutely ridiculous. I do love the fact that <laughs> you'll run across quite a few Nikon D3s that are on their original shutter, and they've got 600,000 clicks on them. It's like, yeah, it's the original shutter. It's got 630,000 or 620,000 uh, clicks on it. Um, they really do take a beating. Uh, Nikon D700 is not really much less of a tank than the D3 is, but the D3 is Nikon's uh, super tank. But uh, like I said, you want to... Anyway, I don't know why I'm making this video. I'm uh, kind of uh, confessing my stupidity. And no, I'm not a Catholic. That's Latin. I took two years of Latin, but I've forgotten most of my Latin. Amen.
Uh, shout out to uh, League of Winning. He's uh, he's got that little cat avatar. <laughs> he he irritates you all, but he's a very funny person. He's kind of like Triumph, the insult comic dog. He always just says stuff to get a rise out of you. <laughs> he's he actually he loves uh, talking crap about Sony and Canon, but he doesn't do it uh, intentionally. But all his comments are just hilariously funny. <laughs> so. Um, shout out to League of Winning. I've talked to him by phone a couple times. He's a really hilarious person. And uh, let me know if there's any video. I'd, I've got a long list of videos to make. Um, I'm gonna go do something exciting now, which is take a shower and do some laundry. And uh, eat some cold pizza. Um, and then make a couple more videos later this evening. But let me know if there's any videos you'd like me to do. And uh, I've been so happy that... I, I never say that because I'm never happy. That, that's really the truth. I can't even believe those words actually came out of my mouth. Um, but I'm actually glad. I'm happy, whatever. I, it's absolutely like the most odd thing in the world for me to say that I'm happy because I'm never happy. I'm always miserable. I'm always worried to death about something. Uh, PTSD, stress, and whatnot. Um, trauma, trauma, PTSD, and stress. But I'm happy that you all are, are happy on uh, the lens recommendations and the advice and the tips and whatnot. And uh, obviously, I've only got two hands, and there's only 24 hours in the day. And I'm like trying to, I'm stretching myself thin, doing a thousand things at once. But uh, I'm glad I could be helpful. And uh, let me know what I can do to change things. As long as it's reasonable, obviously, I will try to accomplish it, and of course it's logical and something I should be doing, then obviously I will do that, so. I'm unfortunate that I'm stretched so thin on so many things that uh, for one of the first times in my life I'm not actually keeping up to my, uh, not keeping up to, uh, I always do things in a timely manner that I say that I'm going to do, so I apologize for that. I mean, I'm completely guilty of that, and that's something I've never been guilty of before in life, so. Anyway, I don't know why, but well, I know why I bought this Nikon D3. Uh, the other one's in the back room back there, but uh, <laughs> I cleaned it a little bit. Um, absolutely ridiculous, but the price was awesome, and uh, the shutter clicks was absolutely unbelievable for a Nikon D3. So um, I, I guess I'll get rid of it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, I'll have a contest and give it away. I can't afford to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I wish I could actually. I really, really, really do wish I could afford to do that. That would be so awesome. I've actually got to get my stinking car fixed. Man, I went and bought this camera and I need to get my car fixed. I got bad brakes. So you can tell where my frigging priorities are, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.